A tridiagonal matrix is one that has non-zero entries along the main diagonal and one row above and below the diagonal. For example, here is a five by five tridiagonal matrix. Notice how there are non-zero entries along the main diagonal. Because this is a five by five matrix, there are five entries along the main diagonal. And there are also entries one row above the main diagonal as well as one row below the main diagonal. Notice there are four entries above and four entries below the main diagonal. At most, how many elementary row operations will it take to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form? To write the matrix in reduced row echelon form, we would need ones along the main diagonal and zeros above and below the ones. Let's review elementary row operations. Elementary row operations are number one, interchange any two rows, number two, multiply any row by a constant, number three, add a multiple of one row to another row. So to obtain these zeros above and below the main diagonal, it would take up to one elementary row operation, so that would be four plus four, and then it would take up to five elementary row operations to get ones along the main diagonal, so we'd have to add five. The sum is 13. Also notice how there are 13 elements in the matrix. It would take at most 13 elementary row operations to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form. We are saying at most here because it is possible if we were getting zeros and we performed one row operation, we could possibly get two zeros from one row operation. And it's also possible we could already have a one along the main diagonal. For the second part, at most how many individual operations will it take to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form? Count each addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division as individual operations. So if we go back to the elementary row operations and focus on number three where it says add a multiple of one row to another, this could be considered two individual operations because first we'd have to multiply a row by a constant to get a multiple of a row and then the second operation would be to add the row to another row. So in counting individual operations, it could take up to two individual operations to get zeros above and below the main diagonal. So that would give us at most two times four plus four. This would be at most the number of operations to get the zeros and then plus, it would only take one operation to get ones along the main diagonal by multiplying by a constant. So we'd have plus five. Again, up to two operations to get the zeros above and below the main diagonal, and up to one operation to get ones along the main diagonal. Simplifying here, we have two times eight plus five, which is equal to 21. It would take at most 21 individual operations to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form. Now we're asked to consider an 80 by 80 tridiagonal matrix. So if the tridiagonal matrix has 80 rows and 80 columns, there would be 80 non-zero entries along the main diagonal. And there would also be 79 non-zero entries above the main diagonal, as well as 79 non-zero entries below the main diagonal. So the first question is, at most how many elementary row operations will it take to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form? Well, it would take up to 79 plus 79 elementary row operations to get the zeros, and then plus at most another 80 elementary row operations to get the ones along the main diagonal. Well, this is equal to 158 plus 80, which is equal to 338. It would take at most 338 elementary row operations to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form. And then for the last part, how many individual operations would it take to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form, counting addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division as individual operations? So in this case, it would take up to two individual operations to get zeros above and below the main diagonal. So that would be two times the quantity 79 plus 79, and then plus one individual operation to get ones along the main diagonal, so plus 80. This gives us two times 100, 
158 plus 80. 2 tenths 158 is equal to 316. 316 plus 80 is equal to 396. So for counting individual operations, it would take at most 396 individual operations to write the matrix in reduced row echelon form. I hope you found this helpful.